Ooh la la, what do we have here? That's some nice decal. Or maybe not. Yeah, today we are taking a closer look at decals and how to improve them and uh, yeah, how to avoid like this uh, underwhelming quality you get from tracing decals. So well, maybe the most important lesson is here uh, not to trace decals. It's like you always end up with unprecise uh, low quality decals you want to have on your vehicle it's no it's just a big no-go i mean sometimes people upload stuff like this here i mean what is that um i understand that maybe you have no idea how to use professional graphic tools but you you must realize that if you upload something like this it's um it's cringy at best it takes a lot of training to get into these tools like uh, inkscape or illustrator as i use um but it's really worth it so if you take a look at examples uh which are properly done you can always be sure that it's um, not made by auto tracing but they are built by hand so take a look at this one um, I just grabbed it from uh, the Gran Turismo um, discover function uh, and you can see that uh, the difference here is like this is not happening even in the same universe right because um yeah you don't have those uh, uh gaps between the uh, different parts of uh, the shapes uh, you have clear outlines uh, there's uh, a lot of little details visible um yeah it's it's not auto traced it's built by hand i can tell you that it's uh uh, even um, with that amount of detail in it it's uh, covered by the 15 kilobytes so yeah I, I would say that this is like a perfect example of why you should get into uh, these tools if you really want to upload high quality decals and not just spam the Gran Turismo decal server yeah, just to give you a little example um, what the difference or how uh, um, yeah how trace decals um, look from precise build decals or vector build decals I prepared this one uh, this is uh, an image I grabbed from I think it's Wikipedia or something yeah I, be I believe uh, so if, if I auto trace that um, I would never come up with the quality of this one right here. So as you can see all the uh, little anchor points here are totally precise and lined up. They uh, don't have those um, unintentional rounded corners. It's um, yeah, just a different quality. So uh, maybe we jump into that or make a little trace that did you see what what will happen if, if I trace that one and compare it to the actual build decal um, so where do you have it image trace I use it so seldomly that I don't actually know where it is so yeah okay um, the overlapping mode which avoids those black lines or gaps between the uh, shapes um, and we go into preview mode now we have it as uh, a black and white preview um, 
and you see here we, we can adjust uh, like the amount of paths we're going to have and so the more paths uh, we are going to uh, apply on, on the scan here um, the higher is the amount of anchors so uh, we, we can try to adjust that a little bit um, I would say for simple decals like these logos um, black and white tracing and picking the colors afterwards is maybe a good way but as I said before uh, if, if you can somehow avoid it please never 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 trace images because it's yeah it's never going to be as um, yeah an original uh, vector data based logo for instance so yeah this looks relatively sharp so uh, let's convert that into vectors All right so where do we have those layers here damn this is actually not the So we have a big amount of layers in here and this is the traced background so on top of that uh, we have like these little things here so I prepared as I would prepare a, a real logo as I would prepare um, a decal I would upload um, but yeah this is just an example please don't do that at home you already can see the amount of extra dots you, you create while, while tracing even if it's unprecise also um, it's uh, blowing up uh, the size of your uh, image without yeah for for no reason um so well this is one of the questions people uh, ask me uh, <coughs> all of the time so how do you manage to make your decals so small or make complex decals fit into the 15 kilobytes um yeah i I absolutely optimize all my decals so I try to reduce every single anchor point there is and uh, merge um, uh, different shapes uh, which use the same fill-in to yeah, make it even smaller as, as you can see here we, we have like all the letters here use the same fill-in right so what we can do is you can see here the Pathfinder tool. You can click to unite. Um, yeah, uh, it's not the uh, right way with Illustrator. What you use is make a compound pass. So we re reduce that to like one object, <coughs> which has one fill in. And let's pick the colors from here now um, because. This one right here, <coughs> I got uh, from an official Pirelli uh, document, so I'm 100% sure that these are the right colors to use. Uh, so what we ended up here from, like um, far away, it might look okay, but if we zoom in, you see all those unnecessary kinks and steps you, you get from uh, yeah tracing the image and um, it's not working 100% precise maybe there are better tracing tools but still um, you always will have a little difference uh, one other aspect um, when yeah, making decals or delivering decals in my opinion is uh, that if, if you work like on major brands like for instance um, Continental here um, I like to deliver decal sets which allows like the user to um, interchange uh, different types of decals easily with uh, reliable color codes 
as you can see here on the top row we have the uh, current logo and on the uh, row below we have the outdated version i can't tell you exactly in which year this became uh, irrelevant but when you do like older uh, libraries or uh, cars which reference uh, to the past then you want the um, appropriate logo then right and yeah i, I usually um, deliver a little bunch of different decals like the full version like a one color version uh, like an extra icon having um, a slightly bent upward for uh, over fender use uh, a downward bended version for use over the windows but yeah this you don't actually need if you follow my video uh, regarding align with camera projection method um, and maybe uh, another one with the claim here um, so uh, like if you are a serious uh, library designer in Gran Turismo or anywhere else uh, you you want uh, a little range of decals um, to yeah experiment with it and change it and maybe uh, yeah change colors on it to uh, I don't know match the library better or have like a, um, matching uh, logo clusters in color so this is one thing I really ask people for so I don't have to use it myself all the time to deliver like reliable uh, sets of decals so I can download the whole bunch and uh, apply them as I as I wish uh, yeah one last thing I would ask you for is uh, that you do not disable the uh, distorting and uh, recoloring functions when you share your decals um, I know that uh, all the serious library creators uh, use that function all the time especially when, when you take a look at that over the fender here um, it's not possible to uh, fit those logos 100% precise if that function is disabled so it's like a big big part of uh, freedom to apply those uh, to the yeah, very variable shapes of a car so over the windshield here uh, there's this method I described uh, an align with camera and you can't use that if you have that functionality disabled so um, yeah if you want to do me and uh, the whole community a big favor uh, please let us distort decals it's yeah absolutely viable so yeah that's it for today and uh, i hope you enjoyed that little video and uh, it helps you to make your decals better um yeah See you next time. Bye-bye.